but I'm going to comment on three issues. The first one, which was the starting point of all this lengthy conversation, is over the allegation of overvoting in the result presented yesterday from HD State. What is overvoting? Where the total number of votes cast is higher than the number of accredited voters. Based on the original of the document signed by party agents at state level and the spreadsheet before me, there was no overvoting in the Kitty State. The total number of accredited voters is 315,058. That is what is in, on the authentic document. Any other figure that shows anything at various with this did not emanate from the Commission. We provided a detailed breakdown of the scores by political parties across the board. Towards the end of the spreadsheet, we provided three columns. The first column is total valid votes, and that is 308,171. Total rejected votes, 6,301. Total votes cast, valid and rejected. 314,472, which is actually lower than 315,058. Let me recap. Total number of accredited voters, 315,058. Total votes cast, both valid and invalid. 314,472. That is no overvoting. When you compare the total number of votes cast and the number of accredited voters, if there is anything, you may actually say that, that, that there was undervoting, not overvoting. So that is my response to the first issue raised. And I repeat myself once again for clarity. If there is any figure different from what I have presented and what came from the manual forms completed by the state coalition officer for the presidential election from AKT State, please discountenance that figure. It did not emanate from the commission. I saw some postings on the social media to the effect that the AKT election result was published on the 20th of February, five days ahead of the election. And what is the evidence? They took the result presented yesterday and took the total number of registered voters for AKT state and concluded that the results were prepared several days before the election. All Nigerians will bear me witness that here in this hall we presented the hard copies of the total number of registered voters in Nigeria on state by state basis and the number of PVCs collected. And that information as we speak is on the Commission's website. So if anybody is trying to be clever by half, by taking figures from somewhere and saying, oh, these results were published or released ahead of the election, that one can only pass for fake news. And I'm sure that we are responsible citizens not to fall for fake news. So my first response is that for the election results presented for AKT, 
there was no overvoting. Overvoting means the total number of votes cast is higher than the number of accredited voters. The number of accredited voters is in this particular case higher than the total number of votes cast. So that's my first response. My second response is are the figures consistent from what transpired at the polling units and what was uploaded or ought to have been uploaded to the IRF portal, I am satisfied that the figures on this spreadsheet emanated from the process that transpired at the polling units. The polling units are the only places where citizens vote. Whatever you do thereafter is just collection of result. And we have provided the vote scored by each political party. However, if any political party believes that the figures they have from the hard copies of the results given by their polling agents at the level of collation, that the figures are inconsistent with what has been provided on the spreadsheet that we projected yesterday. I would like that political party to forward the information to the Commission so that we can speak on the basis of facts. I like the suggestion made that the Commission has power under the Electoral Act to review results. But that power is contingent upon one procedure. The process has to be concluded first before you can then talk about power to review. I want to assure political parties that any evidence that you have of any alleged wrongdoing at any level of the process, whether it's at the polling unit or at collection level, Please forward this information, and I promise you, as soon as the process is concluded, we'll then do the review as provided by law. On this note, I beg you to, for us to proceed with the process. Thank you very much.